There has been major drama going on in the case of Aubrey Wyatt. Aubrey was a 13 year old little girl who took her life last September and her mother Heather has been trying to advocate for anti-bullying and mental health awareness. Now Heather is being viciously attacked online by a group of women who used to be supporters of hers and claim that they are actually anti-bullying advocates. This group is now accusing Heather of lying about everything and making things up basically just to gain money and they have gone so far as to actually call her a bad mother. This group initially started apparently because Heather was not responding to their requests for her to sign an anti-bullying bill of some sort. Now, Heather actually felt the need to post a statement on her social accounts explaining why she has not been on social media much lately. Now, unfortunately, this did not seem to help the situation any and things have just gotten worse. This group continues to post videos and go live, basically bashing Heather. One of the women actually posted this statement saying, y'all are so petty, making it so people can't share the truth. Go ahead, keep reporting. We will get it out there another way. She's claiming apparently that her videos are being taken down by being mass reported, when in fact others are saying that she's just taking it down due to the amount of hate she's getting on the videos for doing this to Heather. These women claim that Heather's been lying the whole time and that there's more to the story than people know, and this is what one of them had to say. It took her six months, six months after the fact to decide, oh, I can get money off this. Don't make sense. The math ain't math and nothing's making sense about this whole ordeal. And if you don't smell shit in it, then you're the fucking problem. The other woman also shared a similar video, but of course that has now been removed. However, this creator, Jackie, did capture that video and responded to it. Here's a bit of that. The darkness always comes to light and that light is about to shine real bright. This mother, Heather, um, decided to use that to her advantage <clears throat> to get everybody to feel bad for her. And you guys are wondering why we're calling her out on her BS. No wonder she didn't want to back the bill. None of this had anything to do with those four girls. Those four girls are the girls that are innocent. You know what? At this point, I'm going to call her a crappy mom because she has used this for her advantage to gain money, to gain popularity, to get what she wanted, to have that life that she never had by getting people to feel bad for her and donate to her. One of the accusations that this group has made is that Heather's a bad mom because she leaves her children home alone all the time. Now, apparently they got this from some screenshots someone had grabbed off of another user's social media account. Sweetheart, it's coming, it's coming, okay? You can feel bad for that quote, grieving mother that it took six months for her to do anything. Do you guys realize that Aubrey was alone? Like for a week? before she passed away, Heather was never at home with her children. Well, Heather's ex, so Aubrey's brother Riker's father, Dexter Woods, has come out in Heather's defense with a video explaining exactly where these women apparently got these screenshots and says it is not that case at all. There was a post made and it was a chain of messages and it was from a creator whose name was Fish in the South. And it says, it talks about Aubrey asking for food and asking for him to come get her to see, to take her to see Riker. And it's made out to be like Heather's this horrible mom who just leaves her kids at home with no food. <clears throat> Little did they know, Fish in the South, who made the video, is actually a, a very close family friend. And he posted those screenshots in memory of Aubrey and their conversations, like a tribute to her. Well, somebody took it among herself to screenshot what they wanted, but yet put it by itself and make it out like Heather's this horrible person who just leaves her kids at home. You're trying to use that on a situation that had to do with my son, who was very ill and in a hospital for three days. Very, very ill, transported by ambulance from one hospital to the other. So it's kind of sickening that now you're bullying on this level when you have no facts. 
This is the screenshot that Dexter's referring to. So Aubrey is in the gray and in the blue is the family friend. So Aubrey is basically asking the family friend to bring some lunchbox treats for her lunch the next day because she says her mom won't be home. And then she also asks him if he could take her to see Riker because her mom told her to ask. Now, once the family friend found out that this group that's against Heather was using his screenshots in a malicious way, he actually posted a response video. Check this out. Y'all are putting my videos out there and misconstruing it, making it seem like something that it wasn't. Um, <clears throat> Heather and I, we've been friends for a very long time. And those messages between Aubrey and I were during a time when Riker got sick very sick. I mean, so sick that he was at one hospital, had to be transported to another hospital, and he was admitted. Heather stayed with him like any mother would do. Heather and I are friends. Not only not only I was bringing stuff. I was I took the kids to the grocery store to get food. I took the kids over to Heather to see Riker and her. Um, but, I mean, other people were bringing food there, too, you know, to make sure that they were okay because Heather couldn't. Heather was at the hospital. She's a great mother. She's always been a great mother. Anything that we ever did was with the kids. She's always with the kids. That one time that she's not with the kids is because her child is literally in the hospital sick. So please just stop with the nonsense. She's not a bad mom. She's never been a bad mom. I've been around Heather a long time. She's a great mom. Um, and she doesn't need this hate. These women have been posting screenshots of messages that they've been getting on TikTok and claiming they're facts, including this one accusing Heather of jumping from man to man every other month and also that she has an OF account. Heather's friend also decided to comment on this. Man, these live streams and y'all are talking like, OF. Heather never made an OF, all right? Not once, not even a thought. It's not what she does, it's not who she is. I don't understand where y'all are coming with all this misinformation of who's saying this and who's saying that. Y'all are, it's all fake. Every single bit of it, it's fake. Don't listen to these people that are talking. Just don't. One of the screenshots they've shared in a video doesn't just attack Heather, but it also attacks Aubrey's sister, Taylor. It says she also always has her hair, nails, and coffee on point, referring to Heather, and then adds her and Taylor both. Now, Dexter had something to say about the fact they're sharing all of these screen grabs. This shows right here that they're taking a video from anybody who says it, that says anything that they know if it's true or not, just because it's being sent to them and posting them. This person said this. This person said that. They black out the name, the, the pictures of who's sending the messages. So how does that show? How can it not? It could be y'all messaging each other for all we know. One of the women also made a video basically saying it's evidence of Heather's guilt because she won't do interviews with people or comment in her lives about the situation. If you followed this story at all, however, you know that the alleged bully's families ended up trying to sue Heather. Now they did drop their claim two days before it went through to court. However, the judge did lay out stipulations against Heather and the families of the four alleged bullies. The judge clearly stated that Heather is not allowed to make any statements implying that anyone involved in the case bullied Aubrey or led to her death. So Heather's not allowed to do interviews or even talk about the situation. Here's the video the woman made. Y'all want to come at us who are trying to expose the truth and trying to get the proper justice that needs to be done. Um, but yet you want to go believe someone who gives half-assed truths and who just declines doing anything, anything. I mean, if it was me, if I was being called out, I sure would want to do an interview. I sure would want to clear it up. And also in that live that she did, people were asking her questions about the situation, the real truth, and she declined. And she also blocked them. Heather shared this today in honor of her daughter, Aubrey. Today would have been Aubrey's first day at high school. Despite this being an obviously emotional day for Heather, she did feel the need to make a statement because of all of the harassment she's been getting online. This is what she said. I'm not going to respond to them. I was. Made a video. I'm not. I'm not. I just 
never want that to be my mission. From the beginning, I have wanted to be Aubrey's voice because she's not here anymore to tell her story. So the audacity of you guys who didn't know Aubrey over there that want me to be this bad guy so bad, you are taking Aubrey's voice. Like what she wanted, the legacy she's leaving and the changes she's making, and you're trying to take it. You have your own goal. You have your own mission, right? You wanna stop bullying. So go make those changes. We have 10 year olds and nine year olds taking their life, whether it be for bullying or just mental health. It has been my mission from the beginning to advocate and to speak and to help that. So yeah, that's what the foundation is doing. So I'm not going to give you the attention you so desperately seek. You guys are over here worried about me. What about our babies? Go fight for them like you want to fight to ruin my reputation. Go be that change you so bad, so badly want. Use your platform for good. The women posting these videos about Heather claim that they are completely against bullying. One of them even has this in their profile saying hashtag stop the bullying. They have been posting messages, however, saying that they are now getting a bunch of hate because people believe they are actually bullying Heather. Here's one of the posts one of the women made. But I, what I will say is there will be no bullying. You guys need to knock it off. We have not been bullying anyone. Everybody needs to slow their roll with the bullying because we aren't doing that. And I have been nothing but just kind. So before you go and speak and before you go and bash people, think about the things that you say because we aren't doing that. And we're not going to stand for you guys doing it either. To include Heather, I will say that. Nobody should bully her either because nobody deserves to be bullied. Y'all need to keep your mouth shut. If you don't like something someone says, move on past. That creator also just posted this video this evening. I don't know what your guys' problem is. Me speaking the truth is what's pissing you guys off and making y'all nervous. The truth is gonna come in out with or without me. There's too many people behind this that know the truth. It's gonna come out. You guys making all your TikToks and trying to make money off of me is stupid. It's, it's really pathetic. I'm just putting out information that is public information if you guys would actually do your research. Who's the bully now? Just a couple hours after that video, she also uploaded this post saying, for the safety of myself and my family, I'm choosing to stay silent. I will not tolerate hate and violence anymore. All the best. 